In this video, we're going to be adding our C++ code to pretty much fire off an event that we're going to create in Blueprint that is going to spawn and add our server list to our scroll box so we can see the server along with its information. So we're going to create a struct that holds the information that we want. So it's going to be a U struct blueprint. Oh, what's it called? Blueprint, not assignable. Oh, it's blueprint type, duh. Then it could be struct f server info generated body. Then do a public section like so. And let's compile, make sure we didn't do any stupid typos. Okay, so we are good. So now we can create some variables. So f string server name uh, int32 current players int32 max players. So we're gonna make these u property do print blueprint read only. tab these over like I like and compile and then we'll spawn one out and see how it looks if it actually works properly all right just out of curiosity I'm gonna create a new um, server server info Let's see make server info break it server name players current max players Okay, so we're good. Oops. So now we need to make a delegate. So we're going to do this by typing in dynamic underscore not multi or declare underscore dynamic underscore multicast underscore delegate one param. And then you have the delegate name. So f server delegate, the parameter type, which is f server info, and the parameter name. We're going to give it, uh, we're just going to call it server list deli. Then we're going to make it. So. We're going to do a U property, a uh, blueprint assignable. It's going to be F server delegate. Call it server list delegate, like so. And then we compile. You're probably going to see red squiggly line, red squiggly line, but it should still compile. It's just IntelliSense with macros. All right, what you did. So now let's bind up an event. Uh, I'm actually going to close and relaunch this real quick, the editor, because I did something in the header. Anytime you add like a structure or anything inside of a header, you generally want to close the editor, relaunch it. I actually meant to build this while with it closed, but it should be OK. All right, got open up both of our widgets again. Still builds just fine. Server list. So once we hit refresh server, that's when we're going to bind the event. So let's see. Uh, it's actually off the game instance. So type an event. You'll see bind event to server list delegate. So we're drag off. And add a custom event, call this one server received. As you can see, the parameter is our structure. So go to server slot. We're going to, there you go to graph, add a new variable. 
call this one server actually, yeah server data type is going to be server info make it instance editable and expose it on spawn for the current and max I need to make that a variable too I forgot to do that so we have server data we're going to drag it off then we're going to break it then we're going to set the server name set the text we're just gonna do the server name for now we're not really gonna have an actual name until we actually get it to creating it in which case we will well this will handle it for us since it'll already be set uh, we can deal with current and max players later I'm not concerned about it I'm just concerned about getting the widgets shown up in this, then we'll move on to the next step. So from here we can go to create widget. I'm going to create a server slot. We're going to pass in server data. Compile. Now we want to go, not the widget switcher, the scroll box. We're going to get it. We're going to add a child. And the child's going to be that slot, or the server slot. Compile save. Now we need to fire this event. So I'm actually going to create a just a print string. And it's a found server for each time it fires. Now we need to make it fire. So what we're going to do here is on so on find session complete. I'm going to comment out where we join our session. Now I'm going to loop through all of our search results. So we're going to do a for loop. So for f online session search result, result and search results. So if result dot valid. So if result is not valid, we're just going to simply continue. And what continue does, it's going to essentially skip over anything that's below continue and run uh, the next element if there is one So we're going to construct our f server info we can call it just Info for now info dot server name equals Just test server name for now Info dot current players equals result dot session dot session info no dot session settings oh number of open private connections we're gonna actually alter this here in a second so info dot max players equals result dot session dot settings dot number of public connections we're going to take info dot max players and subtract it from our number of remaining open public connections which I don't know if this works while testing on the null subsystem or not I don't think so but we'll find out and after that's been constructed we want to fire off our event so we're going to take our event server list deli type broadcast and we're going to pass in info. IntelliSense won't pick it up because it's showing errors right now, but it should be fine. And it is. So let's give it a test. So I'm going to fire up two instances of the game. I'm going to create the server on this one. Go to view servers. Refresh servers. Right, search results, it found it. And test server name and current and max. So it did find the server and it pulled it up just like so. So what I want to do is I want to actually, I wonder if I can create another server without it throwing a fit. 
about the session name. I guess it's okay. Or else I guess we'll find out here in a second if it even shows both of them. View servers, refresh servers. It is nowhere near the center of my screen either. Oh, yeah, it found both of them. Not you. Okay, why? And you. Shut up. There we go. So it's picking up all the servers and it's sending the information to our event. In return, it is setting it up as intended. So a quick reiteration, what we've done, we pretty much created a blueprint event that we can fire via C++, like shown here. So every time that event is fired, we're pretty much creating a widget, which is our server slot and adding it to our scroll box and as a child of our scroll box. And that allows us to fill it up with the list of servers, click on them and all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna have to wrap the server in a button or something like that eventually with just the grid inside of it, with the text of that grid inside of that. So we can click on it and select a specific widget. I mean, select a specific, um, eh, what do you call it, slot to join. And let's see, that's pretty much it, all we've done. So in on find sessions complete, we loop through all of our sessions that we find, make sure they're valid first off. We're gonna go ahead and set our info for our F server info structure. Then we're gonna broadcast, meaning fire this event while passing in the info structure that the F server structure that we just created. So. It is one minute before 5 a.m., so I'm going to bed. So hopefully you found this one useful because I am beyond tired and I don't even know if this is of good quality or not. So good night.